Hello and welcome to the Warren County Public Schools Technology Orientation. In this video, you will learn about how to access your Warren County Public Schools Chromebook, learning management system, tutorials, and tech support. Every Warren County Public Schools student will be issued a Chromebook. This device is to be used to support student learning in traditional, hybrid, and remote classrooms. The first thing you will need to do with your device is to connect it to your home Wi-Fi network. To connect to your home Wi-Fi network, follow these steps. At the bottom right of your screen, click on the time. Select Not Connected. You may need to toggle the Wi-Fi on. If you see your Wi-Fi network name and a signal strength, your Chromebook is already connected. The Chromebook will automatically look for available networks and show them in a list. Pick a network and connect. You may need to enter a password or network key depending on your setup. If you have trouble connecting, please refer to our resource document or contact your service provider. There are two main ways to log into your Chromebook. For the first way, click Next. Logging in with a Clever Badge. To log in with a Clever Badge, your school will provide you with a QR code that is unique to your child. Your device must also be set so that the camera turns on when you click Next. You will hold up your Clever Badge so that the camera can read it and it will log you into your device. If you do not have a Clever Badge or the camera does not come on when you click Next, you can log in with your WCPS Google account. All student Google accounts use the same pattern. If you need help with your student ID number or login credentials, please contact your school. Here's the pattern that you will use. For your username, put in the last two numbers of your graduation year, followed by the last number of your student ID, followed by the first three letters of your first name, then the first three letters of your last name, then at students.wcps.k12.va.us. For your password, use the first initial of your first name, then the first initial of your last name, followed by your full student ID number. Learning how to use your Chromebook will take some time. Our resource document has tutorials as well as a Chromebook simulator that you can use to learn how to use your device's touchpad, keyboard, and other features. With a little practice, you'll be swiping and clicking with ease. It is important to take care of your Chromebook. Powering it down and charging it nightly will help it stay up to date and be ready for school each day. Schoology's learning management system that we will use for grades K through 5. You will log into Schoology every day to access your lessons, complete your assignments, and communicate with your teachers and classmates. When you log into your Chromebook, a Chrome browser will open to the WCPS Schoology page you may be prompted to log in to your WCPS Google account. The first page you will see when you log into Schoology will be your class dashboard. The upcoming area on the right side of your home page displays events, assignments, tests and quizzes, and discussions with a due date. Hovering over each item displays the course or group associated with the item. The grade report displays a breakdown of your grades for each of your courses. Click a specific course to view each graded item, your grade, the max points, and any comments from your teacher. You may also download a student report by clicking the button in the top right of the page. The Schoology calendar is an important organizational element for your connections, classes, and groups. It keeps events and due dates organized and easily accessible. Due dates for assignments, assessments, and important course-related events are automatically added to your calendar and managed by your teacher. You can add events to your personal calendar by clicking the calendar icon at the top of the Schoology page. Use the search tool, which is the magnifier icon, to search for your teachers, classes, and groups. You are also able to receive messages from your teachers at your school and to send messages back to your teacher at your school.
Notifications display course events in chronological order, as well as requests to RSVP calendar events. New notifications and requests are indicated by a number on the bell icon. Clicking a notification or request will allow you to view the related content. Folders organize course materials and they're distinguished by the folder icon next to their name. Inside a folder, you will find an assortment of course materials, including assessments, assignments, and files. Assignments are graded items. Each assignment may require you to make a submission. Once you've made a submission, the teacher can grade the assignment, provide feedback, and upload a file back to you. To submit a file to an assignment, follow these steps. One, in the assignment, click the Submit Assignment button. Then, use the Add a Comment area for questions and concerns. Then, select one of these options. Upload to select a file from your computer. Create to create a document on the web using the text editor. Resources to select a file from your resources which can be a Google Doc, and then Submit to Finish. Test slash quiz is a graded material type that instructors use to assess their students' comprehension and readiness. For some tests and quizzes, your instructor may allow you to view your past submissions. If this is the case, when you enter the test slash quiz, you will see an additional tab titled My Submissions. This tab will show you a list of all your submissions with links on the right to view assessment. Assessments are another type of online assessment. To take an assessment, click on the name of the assessment, click Start Attempt, then answer the questions appropriately, click Review to review your answers, then click Finish when you are done, then Yes to submit your assessment attempt or No if you need more time to review. Files that have been added to your course can appear inside folders or in the Files and Links area of the Materials Index. Discussions are interactive conversations that allow participation between you, your classmates, and your teacher. Each discussion has threaded commenting, allowing you to respond to any post by another student. Pages are resources created by your instructor to supplement the course. These pages are highly versatile allowing for the inclusion of text, image, outside link, and video information. My Resources is your personal library of documents that you create in Schoology or download from other sites. It's easy to organize, create, and copy and move your resources right from the My Resources page. Saving your document in this personal library enables you to access them for years to come and use them in any courses you take in the future. There are many ways that you can stay up to date on your child's progress. To sign up to view your child's Schoology class as a parent, go to www.schoology.com. It will prompt you to enter your information. It is recommended that you use a Gmail account since we use single sign-on for our school. You will also need to enter a parent access code. This is a 12-digit code that you will receive from one of your child's teachers. After that, you will log in at wcpsk12.schoology.com. When you log in, you'll see your parent dashboard. To view your child's activity, go to the upper right. From the drop-down menu, select your child's name. From the home page, you can quickly view specific information about your child's Schoology activity. To receive texts with school-related information, sign up for School Messenger. You can also sign up for a PowerSchool account. PowerSchool is another location where you can find your child's grades and attendance information, including report card grades. One additional tool that will be used during the school year is Google Meet. Teachers will use Google Meet to stream their lessons or for interactive sessions such as small group instruction, conferences, or office hours. Your teacher has a variety of ways they can set up a meet. You will need to follow the directions provided by your teacher at the scheduled time of the meet. Some options include, your teacher may provide you a link, 
depending on how the teacher set up their link, you will either be watching a live stream or you will be part of an interactive conference. If it is designed to be an interactive session, you will be prompted to click join to enter the meet. If a link is not provided, go to meet.google.com, then enter the meeting code or nickname provided by your teacher to join. If you have technical questions, we will also have a support line set up. Information on the hours and how to reach us will be on our school websites as well as in the resource guide. Thank you for viewing the WCPS technology orientation. This video provided an overview of some of the key resources needed to support your learning during the school year. We encourage you to go to our technology resource guide for more detailed instructions, videos, and tutorials on how to use your Chromebook, Schoology, and more.